Creatine is a favorite choice for athletes, bodybuilders, and fitness fans aiming to boost their game. But what's the deal with creatine? Is it truly a one-size-fits-all solution? Let's break it down. We'll explore the science behind creatine supplements, weighing their potential perks and pitfalls, and figuring out if they're the right fit for you. So buckle up as we dive into the world of creatine supplementation to uncover what it's all about and whether it deserves a spot in your fitness regimen. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound found in small amounts in foods like meat and fish. It plays a crucial role in the production of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is the primary energy source for muscle contractions during high-intensity exercise. When you supplement with creatine, you're essentially increasing the availability of creatine phosphate in your muscles. This allows your muscles to generate more ATP, leading to improved performance during short bursts of intense activity, such as weightlifting or sprinting. Numerous studies have shown that creatine supplementation can indeed enhance athletic performance. It's been shown to increase strength, power, and muscle mass, particularly in activities that rely on short bursts of explosive energy. Furthermore, creatine may also have other benefits beyond athletic performance. Some research suggests that it could help with neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease and even enhance cognitive function in healthy individuals. However, more research is needed to fully understand these potential benefits. Despite its benefits, creatine supplementation may not be suitable for everyone. For instance, individuals with kidney problems should exercise caution when taking creatine, as it may put additional strain on the kidneys. Additionally, some people may experience gastrointestinal discomfort or bloating as side effects of creatine supplementation. It's also essential to consider the source and purity of the creatine supplement you're using. While creatine monohydrate is the most researched and widely used form of creatine, other forms may not be as effective or safe. Always opt for reputable brands that undergo rigorous testing to ensure quality and purity. Furthermore, Creatine supplementation is most effective when combined with proper nutrition and exercise. Simply taking creatine without engaging in regular physical activity or following a balanced diet may not yield the desired results. Creatine is a compound that is naturally produced by the body, primarily in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. And it's also obtained through diet, particularly from animal products like meat and fish. It's stored in muscles and used during activities that require short bursts of energy, such as sprinting or weightlifting. When you take creatine as a supplement, it increases the creatine phosphate stores in your muscles. Creatine phosphate helps regenerate ATP, the molecule that provides energy for muscle contractions. With more creatine phosphate available, your muscles can produce ATP at a faster rate, leading to improved performance in high-intensity activities. Studies have consistently shown that creatine supplementation can enhance athletic performance. It's been shown to increase strength and power, improve muscle endurance, and promote faster recovery between bouts of exercise. These benefits make creatine a popular supplement among athletes and fitness enthusiasts looking to maximize their performance. Additionally, creatine may have other potential health benefits beyond athletic performance. Some research suggests that it could help with neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease by increasing levels of ATP in the brain. ATP is essential for proper brain function, and higher levels may protect against neurodegenerative diseases. There is evidence to suggest that creatine supplementation could enhance cognitive function in healthy individuals. ATP is crucial for brain energy metabolism, and by increasing ATP levels, creatine may improve cognitive performance, particularly during tasks that require short bursts of mental effort. Despite its potential benefits, creatine supplementation may not be suitable for everyone. Individuals with kidney problems should use caution when taking creatine, as it may exacerbate kidney issues. Additionally, some people may experience gastrointestinal side effects like bloating or diarrhea when taking creatine supplements. It's also important to choose high-quality creatine supplements from reputable brands. Creatine monohydrate is the most well-researched form of creatine and is generally considered safe and effective. However, other forms of creatine may not be as reliable, so it's essential to do your research before purchasing a creatine supplement. 
Creatine is a widely studied supplement that has shown promising results in enhancing athletic performance and potentially offering other health benefits. However, it's essential to approach creatine supplementation with caution and awareness of potential risks. Before starting any new supplement regimen, especially one like creatine, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional, particularly if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. They can help determine whether creatine is suitable for you and provide guidance on dosage and usage. Remember that creatine supplementation is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to improving athletic performance and overall health. Proper nutrition, hydration, and consistent exercise are equally important factors to consider. If you decide to incorporate creatine into your routine, opt for high-quality products from reputable brands and follow recommended dosages. Listen to your body and be mindful of any potential side effects. Ultimately, whether or not you should take creatine as a supplement depends on your individual goals, health status, and preferences. While it can be a valuable tool for some individuals, it's not a magic solution, and results may vary from person to person. As with any supplement, it's essential to approach creatine with informed decision-making and prioritize your overall health and well-being. If you found this discussion on creatine helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Feel free to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or questions about creatine supplementation. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might benefit from learning more about creatine. Take care and stay tuned for more health and fitness tips.